All right, welcome back to Nico Knows Tech. I'm, of course, Nico. Thank you for coming. Um, got some great things to share with you and a special tool that I think everyone should have. Um, and um, if you wouldn't mind, uh, click like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of these type of tips. We also have a Discord server. Check out the uh, link in the description. We're helping a lot of people. We do it for free. Come down there. You have some kind of problem. We'll help you. We even remote into your system. And um, that's what we're here for. Anyway, <clears throat> tool I'm going to talk to you about today is called Auto Runs. And this is actually a free tool. Um, it was part of TechNet back in the day. Um, it's part of the Systernals, Sys Internal Suite. And it's uh, been picked up by Microsoft. And if you just Google, you know, Auto Runs, you'll get, um, you'll reach this site on docs.microsoft.com. You'll download this one, Auto Runs and Auto Runs SC, which is the command line version of it. And I like to unzip it to the desktop, <clears throat> and you don't have to install it. It's it's already you know it's portable. If you have a 64-bit uh, 4-bit operating system, you'll run the 64-bit. If not, just run the regular. Run the regular. You'll right-click and run as administrator. And it's going to pull up this window here, and um, you'll want to um, make sure that <clears throat> if you if if you're a technician, you'll you'll uh, want to um, unhide Microsoft entries. But if if you're not really familiar with what you're doing just leave that there okay under scan options you want to make sure that checkvirustotal.com and submit on images is checked and then um, click rescan i've already have that setting here so i can look at everything on my computer that's auto running <clears throat> if something isn't pink it means that it's not necessarily bad it's just not verified the certificate's not verified they didn't pay microsoft to get verified so it's something to look at but it doesn't mean it's an infection now over here, there's you see this one out of 76. That means one out of 76 virus scanners on uh, Virus Total has said that this is an infection. It's a false positive, but we'll we'll check it out here. <clears throat> so this guy says it's infected. There are all these other reputable companies say it's not, and that's just because this um, antivirus program um, has a terrible engine and it just uh, declares that anything that's not verified is an infection. So in that case, this is not. Plus, if you know what it is, it's fine. But this is just telling you everything. And if you're not sure, you can right-click on any of these and search online. And see, this is 7-Zip. I know what that is. It's fine. It's not an infection, so I can ignore it. If it was an infection, I could disable it in the registry by unchecking it right here. This overrides any other app registry. If you go to the image, it would say disabled. Um, I can also... Uh, jump to the image and find the file exactly where it is. It's right here. So if this was an infection, I'd know exactly where to handle it. I could delete it right there if I wanted. And you can go through everything here. This is an incredibly powerful tool. If it's in yellow, that just means that the file is not found at where that registry location is. Nothing to worry about, despite what people might tell you that you need to do CCleaner all the time um, and clean your registry. You actually don't. That's a myth. Um, and um, I know I'm gonna catch some flack on that, but unless you actually have some forensic data, some real data that proves me wrong, uh, spare me, please. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and disable some auto running things, or you did there. But yeah, Windows doesn't come with a registry cleaner built in, and it's not like they couldn't, it's just they don't need to. Because this is also a record of where something used to be, and Windows would like to know that. So anyway, this is the way you can do that. And you can go by different sections. You can go by on the log on, what's affecting Explorer, um, scheduled tasks. I've already disabled OneDrive and Adobe Updater because I don't want that running there. Careful what you disable. Just make sure, you know, you can always do the right click and search for what it is. Image hijacks, none of these are flagged. No DLLs. But yeah, this tool by itself is, is very powerful and all pros use this. Again, that's auto runs, and you can download it out of the Cisternal Suite um, in docs.microsoft.com. You can just Google auto runs, and it'll be uh, one of the top two results. Um, and uh, I'm going to be showing you a whole lot about the uh, Sys Internal Suite, uh, the rest of the things that you can do uh, in the next coming up videos. So please uh, subscribe, and if you'd like to support us on Patreon, it would really go a long way. Um, we do all of our services for you for free. Uh, join us on Discord. Uh, we will help you out there. I've brought in some techs uh, in the industry, the moderators, <clears throat> and we'd love to see you. We'd love to hang out with you. And um, we even remote into machines and fix viruses for free there. So uh, definitely join. You know, why do we do this? Uh, because we can. 
and if you can i think you should and that's the mentality that uh, that i have so we're here for you and uh, help us out and i'd love to see you next time and stay safe and i've been chilling watching the ocean we do baby up with a slow motion crew and we up in our growlings when people change but not us and we just chilling kicking kiss by the sun could be so to the skin and the moss I know she got the good vibes when seasons change.